بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين والصلاة والسلام على أشرف الأنبياء والمرسلين نبينا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه وسلم أما بعد بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم إن الحمد لله نحمده ونستعينه ونستغفره ونعوذ بالله من شرور أنفسنا ومن سيئات أعمالنا من يهده الله فلا مضل له ومن يضلل فلا هادي له وأشهد أن لا إله إلا الله وحده لا شريك له وأشهد أن محمدا عبده ورسوله يا أيها الذين آمنوا تقوا الله حق تقاته ولا تموتن إلا وأنتم مسلمون يا أيها الناس اتقوا ربكم الذي خلقكم من نفس واحدة وخلق منها زوجها وبث منهما رجالا كثيرا ونساء واتقوا الله الذي تساءلون به والأرحام إن الله كان عليكم رقيبا يا أيها الذين آمنوا اتقوا الله وقولوا قولا سديدا يصلح لكم أعمالكم ويغفر لكم ذنوبكم ومن يطع الله ورسوله فقد فاز فوزا عظيما ألا وإن أصدق الحديث كتاب الله وخير الهدي هدي محمد صلى الله عليه وسلم وشر الأمور محدثاتها وكل محدثة بدعة وكل بدعة في الدين ضلالة وكل ضلالة في النار أما بعد Welcome أهلا وسهلا ومرحبا بكم جميعا to the introduction to our course in the explanation of the famous and well-known book الأقيدة الواسطية and in this introduction insha'Allah ta'ala um, I will be discussing briefly the uh, course itself so in this intro uh, and we will have insha'Allah ta'ala uh, more than one introduction uh, we will have three introductions before we begin the actual explanation of the book the first one being this one here uh, the introduction to the course itself the topics that will be discussed and uh, how the uh, course will be taught and inshallah ta'ala for example the duration of the course and the like that is what we will discuss in uh, this first lesson here inshallah ta'ala in the next lesson we will discuss the introduction to the study of al-aqidah the introduction to the study of al-aqidah so as we know the book al-aqidah um, al-wasitiyah is discussing different matters of aqidah and so we will in the second introduction we will discuss how it is that we study al-aqidah uh, what is al-aqidah and so inshallah ta'ala we will take that from the explanation of uh, al-aqidah al-wasitiyah of Sheikh Muhammad bin Umar Bazmul hafidhahullah ta'ala um, in his introduction to the explanation of al-aqidah al-wasitiyah he discussed uh, six important points uh, before beginning the explanation of the book itself. And so we will um, take those six points inshallah ta'ala and explain them uh, briefly and that will you know, serve as a, uh, as a tool and not just for this course here but in any aspect or any course or any class that you may take in the future or any book even that you may read in the future that is on the subject of al-aqidah which is creed and belief and so those uh, points you will find uh, useful inshallah ta'ala in your uh, journey to seeking knowledge and in the in the path of seeking knowledge more specifically uh, regarding the belief of ahl sunnah wal jama'ah and in the third introduction inshallah ta'ala we will uh, it will be an introduction to the actual book so we will discuss the book itself uh, the author uh, his upbringing 
is uh, where he was born, where he died, who his most famous students were, um, who his mashayikh were, uh, what are some of his most famous works, um, and what was his status uh, in, in the era that he lived in amongst the other scholars of that time, and likewise throughout the history of Al Islam after him. And so, Sheikh Al Islam bin Taymiyyah. Rahimullah is, is known as one of the prominent figures um, of scholarship when it comes to the religion of Islam and so we will get to know him in the third uh, category or the third introduction uh, to the course and then after that inshallah ta'ala we will delve into the book itself um, and how we will explain the book inshallah ta'ala we will uh, delve into that in this in this uh, audio or this recording and so um, as you all know it took a bit of time uh, to get these, this course uh, started uh, due to Qadr uh, and some things that um, happened to me uh, personal uh, reasons um, one of the most uh, um, or one of the biggest reasons being um, I was currently, I was previously in Canada and um, I had to urgently uh, just up and up and leave and, and go back to uh, Saudi Arabia to finish my studies in Mecca. And so um, it, the trip came you know, very suddenly um, and so it delayed our course by a few weeks. But now, alhamdulillah ta'ala, uh, here we are and inshallah ta'ala we will uh, be able to finish in the time that we uh, previously mentioned insha'Allah ta'ala um, so as was announced during the um, advertising of this course that the course will take approximately three to four months to complete um, insha'Allah I plan to still follow that timeline uh, where we will have um, two lessons as we previously mentioned two lessons per week I previously mentioned that every lesson um, will be uploaded or, or, or every two lessons for that week will be uploaded on the Monday of every week however um, I'm going to change that and make it on every Sunday um, and that is because when I was in Canada that would have been the beginning of the week and so um, for me now it will be sorry not Sunday but Saturday every Saturday um, of the week I will upload two lessons inshallah ta'ala uh, along with their questions so as previously uh, mentioned every lesson will have five questions attached to it so for the introduction this introduction here there will be no questions for this one uh, likewise for the introduction regarding the study of al aqidah that is just a an extra benefit uh, for you all and the questions will begin with the introduction to the book uh, al aqidah al wasatiyah insha'Allah ta'ala and so uh, you do not have to worry about any questions for this week and also uh, next week bi'idhnillahi ta'ala so just to be clear every Saturday you should expect uh, two new uh, lessons uploaded and along with them will be the five questions that are to be answered inshallah ta'ala and emailed to me I will provide the email that you will answer uh, the questions and send them to bi'idhnillahi ta'ala um, so the topics that will be studied or the topics that the book Al-Aqidah Al-Wasatiyah comprises of and, and that you will find in the book Al-Aqidah Al-Wasatiyah so I've categorized them into 12 different topics, 12 different topics. The first one being the, uh, the introduction to the study of Al-Aqidah. So I've included that as one of the topics. The second one being the introduction to the book of Al-Aqidah Al-Wasatiyah itself. So we will understand what the book is about, why the book was authored, what was happening um, uh, in that time, or how it came to be that this book was authored by Shaykh al-Islam ibn Taymiyyah and the, the events surrounding that, inshallah ta'ala, that will, that will be discussed 
also the era that it was written in, the year that it was written in, etc. So basically a, a, a historical um, encount, encounter, if, uh, if you will, of the book Al-Aqidah Al-Wasatiyah, inshallah ta'ala. Um, and likewise, um, uh, not, not just the reason for it being authored, but also what it includes of uh, different topics, inshallah ta'ala. Uh, the third topic will be the biography of Shaykh al-Islam ibn Taymiyyah himself, rahimahullah ta'ala. The fourth topic will be, uh, so the beginning of the book, starting with the attributes of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So Shaykh al-Islam ibn Taymiyyah at the beginning of the book, al aqidah al wasitiyah he uh, begins, mentions and explains 23 different attributes of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala from it might from it knowledge sight hearing seeing etc so we will uh, go over each one of them um, I haven't decided yet how many uh, uh, attributes will take per lesson uh, but I will inshallah ta'ala uh, mention uh, the, the, the number of uh, the, num the number of attributes for each lesson at the beginning of each lesson inshallah ta'ala so for example if I decide in one lesson to take uh, five attributes and explain those five at the beginning of that lesson I will mention in this lesson we will inshallah take five attributes and so we will explain those five in that one lesson inshallah ta'ala because as we mentioned previously I do not want to make these lessons too long uh, the the goal is to um, restrict each lesson to between 30 to 45 minutes inshallah ta'ala and not to go um, any uh, not to go beyond that inshallah ta'ala so after the 23 attributes and then there are some other attributes that Shaykh al-Islam mentions um, which are some of the actions of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala such as rising above the throne and descending uh, in the third part of the night, descending to the lowest heaven, etc. And so I separated those uh, categories, although they all are the attributes of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. However, these ones are more specific in terms of uh, as a refutation to the different groups or different sects that held uh, different opinions, meaning denied uh, these attributes. And so I separated those into two different categories. Uh, the sixth topic will be matters of the unseen, so matters pertaining to uh, life after death, starting with the grave, and then the last day, uh, the hawth, the pond of the of the Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam, the standing on the day of judgment, uh, paradise and hell, etc. So the affairs of the hereafter. The seventh point or the seventh topic will be al qadr. So the pre-decree and the ordainment of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. The eighth topic will be al-Iman. So Iman uh, in, in, in according to Ahl Sunnah wa Jama'ah. So we will learn what Iman is. So what is faith uh, in accordance with the belief of Ahl Sunnah wa Jama'ah. And that which opposes it from the different sects. Insha'Allah ta'ala. The ninth topic is the companions of the Messenger of Allah, the Sahaba of the Messenger of Allah, Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. And under that, we have subcategories. First one being the Khulafa al Rashidin, the rightly guided uh, caliphs uh, Abu Bakr, Umar, Uthman, and Ali, Radiyallahu Anhum Ajma'in. After that, we have Ahlul Bayt. Ahlul Bayt. Nabi sallallahu alayhi wa so the family of the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Then we have the wives of the Messenger of Allah, and then we have a, a very important topic as uh, pertaining to the Sahaba, which is how do we deal with the differing amongst the Sahaba? And so there are some events known in history that have been recorded where um, some fitan or you know, some, some differing has uh, took place between the companions. How do we deal with that as Ahl Sunnah wal Jama'ah? How is it that we deal with that 
as Ahl Sunnah wal Jama'ah. The uh, tenth point is the miracles of the awliya. Yeah, so who are the awliya and what are the characteristics of the awliya and how do we, um, what is our belief pertaining to them? The eleventh point is the path and way of Ahl Sunnah wal Jama'ah. So we will deal with several characteristics or these distinguishing traits and distinguishing characteristics of Ahl Sunnah wal Jama'ah that distinguishes them from any other group or sect that uh, that innovate in the deen of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And so these points uh, are not to say a specific group or a specific, um, you know, uh, Ahl Sunnah in any particular time, rather these characteristics, these distinguishing characteristics are seen in every time and in every place and in every era up until the Day of Judgment. So from the time of the Sahaba and those who came after them and those who came after them up until the Day of Judgment, including our current time today. These traits are how you distinguish the people of truth from the people of falsehood in every single era. And the last and final uh, point is the matter of unity and what do we unite upon as Muslims because we do hear um, every so often um, many different speakers talking about the, the matter of unity and how the Ummah must be united. However, what is it that the Ummah should be united upon? And what is the correct understanding of unity? and likewise uh, manners and uh, good character and uh, etiquettes, Islamic etiquettes and the importance of that in the religion of Al-Islam. So that makes up the topics of al aqidatul Wasatiyah as we mentioned that we will be benefiting from several different explanations um, of the book and so we mentioned from them uh, Sheikh Muhammad Aman Al-Jami, Sheikh Ahmed Al-Najmi, Sheikh Muhammad Bazmoon, uh, Sheikh Muhammad ibn Ibrahim al Sheikh, the former uh, Mufti of Saudi Arabia, Kingdom of Saudi Arabia, before Sheikh ibn Baz, who was the Sheikh of Sheikh ibn Baz, Rahimahullah Ta'ala. And so we will be benefiting from these different explanations. Um, all of them have different benefits. They are, you know, from these explanations are, are those that are um, very concise. And, and to the point in brief, uh, and then from the Ma'ar, like the explanation of Sheikh Muhammad Aman al Jami, which is in two volumes, um, about 300 400 pages each, so a bit more extensive and more detailed. So we will see, inshallah ta'ala, uh, different benefits that we can uh, attain from each one of these uh, uh, explanations, inshallah ta'ala. After that, once we finish the the book, we will have one final exam, which will be either multiple choice questions or true or false, inshallah ta'ala. And um, with that, it will make up your final mark for the course. And then inshallah ta'ala, I will be giving each student who completes the course a certificate of completion which will show your grade in the course, inshallah ta'ala. And then likewise, the ijaza. And the ijaza, so this will be two separate um, certificates. One of them will be the certificate itself for completing the course. So it'll have your name, it'll have the course that you completed and the mark that you received in the course. And the second certificate will be the ijaza itself which will have the chain of narration starting from you and going back. Uh, so it'll be from you as the student to myself, the one giving